Yes, uh, Trevor, first yes. of all, I want to uh, give him some breaking news here that uh, they have arrested the member of parliament from Avoko. So uh, just don't shout. I want to you know, that. I can even decide to donate my, my time to you because you have what we call warped logic. What you are okay. trying to explain, it doesn't make any sense. And Kagusha, I wish you were sweating like this on the floor of the house to defend the positions you took. For instance, to explain to Kenyans why you think the people of Mukuruini deserve to pay housing levy, to pay extra on, uh, on, on fuel. The people of Mukuruini expect those roads. roads. Just let, a let minute. Let him finish. Let him finish. The people of Mukuruini expect those roads because they already were paying taxes. What they are protesting is extra taxation at a time when they are finding it difficult to survive. You are saying you are surviving. You are surviving. But the people of Mukuruini are not surviving. They are barely hanging on. If you had listened to those people, if you had listened to those people, in fact, today, if you run a poll in Mukuruini, ask them if they want to eat or they want to see that road you are talking about and bring us the results. Number two, uh, Trevor, we, 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 we have, we have a pu pu public record here. When we spoke about the additional resources to the counties, we know where that money was coming from because in that same bill, in that same bill, the additional money that was going to central government, by the way, for roles that actually devolved, was 360 billion shillings. Additional from the money that they received last year of almost 2 trillion shillings. What we were asking for is less than 10% of that 360. We are asking only for an additional 22 billion shillings from the share that was going to the national government. In this particular finance bill, the National Assembly added the counties only 15 billion shillings, at the same time adding the national government 360 billion shillings. We in Azimio thought that that was unjustifiable and that is why we were hoping that Halwale would have the balls to vote for money for people of Kakamega. But he doesn't have them. Number two, uh, number three, this, the, the, the case that is in court, uh, Trevor, by Senator Omtata is actually challenging the legality of a law. And if the uh, court finds that the law is illegal and unconstitutional, the entire bill will collapse, Halwale. That is how this thing works. Number three, there is a saying, a Latin saying, when they teach you law, uh, I am sure one of your children should be a lawyer. I suspect that one of them must have found themselves Some of into, the children. Yes, oh into the legal profession. <laughs> so, because you know you, you yeah, deal with quantities, it, it, is, it, is, it is a matter of probability. I am sure some of them have ended up in, in the legal profession. Yeah, Just by, by the fact of the, the numbers you are putting out, inevitably, one of them must be a lawyer. They will tell you there is something called... Balls, yes, there, there is a Latin saying, there is a Latin saying Halwale, that crimen Na, nalam crimens in Lieg, it means yes. there can be no crime if there is no law. Criminal law <coughs> is so specific that it has to prescribe the act and the punishment. So there is no crime under our Kenyan laws called political responsibility. There is no such law. Okay. So what you do, Halwale, if you feel, if yeah. you feel that the, you have looked at the entire criminal book, Eh? The, 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 the penal code, and you can't find a crime to pin on Sifuna or to pin on, on Hondo Borailo Dinga. Yeah. You can use your numbers in parliament, like you're introducing this new bill on uh, limiting the rights of protest. Then maybe you can introduce this crime called political responsibility. But, uh, but as we sit here, Trevor, there is no such law. Kagusha says, oh, he didn't see members of ODM. Uh, during the debate. I remember you guys uh, covered it live, the debate on the finance bill. You remember members of ODA, people like uh, Mbadi, uh, teaching the law to people like Agusha, the difference between zero rating and uh, VAT exemption. It was people from ODM like Nasama Tandi explaining to them the impact of this uh, uh, law. I didn't see Kagusha. In fact, I want to see a clip of Kagusha just to demonstrate that, first of all, he understands what the people of Mukuruini want. And number two, he understands the sort of punishment that he has imposed on his own people. This is a shame that you will live with Kagusha. You cannot run away from it. Finally, Trevor, yeah. we want to say this, that we are not unreasonable people. You know, sometimes people look at you and they think that this Sifuna is, is crazy. We are not crazy. It depends on the approach that you, you come with us. Those, those, uh, those uh, demonstrators who are skipping rope in uh, Nyeri, what would be their reaction if, while they are skipping rope, not bothering anybody, somebody comes and just drops a canister of tear gas in the middle there? If, for instance, I say that on Monday, when we go to Kamkunji on Monday, we are only going to skip rope, will these uh, people allow us to skip rope at Kamkunji? That is the question. What is this one ingredient that was missing in Siaya, that was missing in Meru, that was missing in, uh, in Nyeri? What is that ingredient? It is the absence of police action. And that's what we are saying. All you need to do, Trevor, we have spoken about this thing so many times. I am even tired of explaining it. 
All you need to do, allow one day of zero police interference in peaceful protest and see a different result here in Nairobi. We have done it before. Okay. When we came to swear in Raila Odinga, when he ran away, him and Muzalia were cowering somewhere. Uh, maybe in one of their homes. I, he has told us he doesn't have houses, he has homes. So I don't know which one they chose to hide under. Boss, we finished that swearing in, people left and went home, not a single stone was thrown, not a single uh, business was, uh, was destroyed, and people went home because we understand that right. Okay. When you say you should not be armed, nobody comes from home with stones. Nobody comes from home with stones and says, oh, now I'm armed, I'm going to destroy a house. I am going to throw uh, stones at the police. We come to the streets like this. You have seen us, Trevor. You have been there. I walk into the streets of Nairobi like this from the front. I have been tear gas just walking on the road with members of parliament. There is a day we walked from uh, uh, the National Assembly side yeah. to the uh, office of the deputy president. We wanted to say hi to him and give him a, a petition okay. containing the issues of the people because that is what the law allows. I was tear gas there and these things are known. They are there. What crime had I committed? Okay. I was armed with a, a people's petition. All right. So what we are saying is this. We are, we are tired of being mischaracterized, and we are no longer going to defend ourselves. You can call us all these names because you have called us all these names for years. ODM is violent, all so and so. And we have seen even confessions from people from within their ranks, like one time when Mike Sonko confessed, that these are the things they used to do to paint ODM as a violent party. Okay. They would hire old cars and go and burn them on Gong Road. Then they say, oh, destruction of property. We will protect life and limb. And we have said these people, they just talk because they know they'll, they'll stand behind the police. All right. These people like in a Gashagwa, I really want to meet this Gashagwa man, just him and me. We, we, we see this, this bravado that he has. Where does it get it from? Where does he get it from? We leave all our police protectors behind and just have a conversation with him. I would really enjoy that because okay. they do that knowing full well that they will, they will have people shooting at us in front. Okay. What we want to do, Trevor, we are not unreasonable people. When the uh, Ruto called for talks, we assembled a team, we came to the table, we tried to talk to these gentlemen, they didn't know what they were doing, they were confused all of the time, they couldn't even make simple decisions like which color of tea we are going to drink today, they have to call the president every 10 minutes, oh, Sifuna is saying this, what should we do? They don't have any wherewithal to handle the sort of negotiations that well, we, we wanted to have. So, okay. if indeed, yeah. if indeed, the president listens to his people, don't listen to Sifuna, we have said okay. that, don't listen to Raila. Listen to the people of Mukruini. They are telling you they are hungry. All right. Please scrap this finance. All right. And this will be the end of the matter. Gentlemen, thank you so much. We have to leave it there. We've run out of